with this tab that is still open, if I go to the front, you will see that here in the tab at the top, it says just another WordPress site. And that is the name of your site. You, you don't want that there. And you will think, ah, oh, well, elementary, dear Watson, I will tell you how shocked I am every day almost that I click on shops or many other websites, and then it still says just another WordPress site at the top. While so many people are making websites in WordPress, I know it's easy to oversee this. And it's something that you just maybe do once every time you set up a website, so you forget about it. That's why I'm telling you, try and do these things at the beginning, because once you start getting into the building and testing and everything, it's easy to forget that. Go back to WordPress and remember that under your settings general, you have the option to change the site title here, as well as the tagline, which is the description of your site. But themes also allow you to do that. And the theme also allows you to bring in the favicon. The favicon is this little image next to your name at the top. It stands for favorite icon, and some will call it the site icon. This is great if you save your page within your browser or on your phone. That is the icon that will give you that visual display of the site that you are looking for. So it's very important you also get a site icon. Better to do this then within the theme. Every time you are working with a theme feature, we do that in the theme settings. And in WordPress, those settings are called the customizer. Yes, this is where you customize the theme. So we refer to it as the customizer. You can access the customizer next to appearance. You will see under themes, it says customize. Click on that. The theme we are using is Bloxy. So it's going to open Bloxy. And with that, it's going to give us a view of our site, which is currently empty. You see, it looks exactly like our front end at the moment. We can see that here on the right and on the left, all the settings that we have. Scroll down to the bottom where you see core. This is the core part of your site. And there you see site identity. Select that. And we have three options here, the site title, the tagline, and then the site icon slash favicon. These two you've also seen within the WordPress settings. Let's start here. We're going to call this Printco. That's the name. And then the tagline is a short description of the services. And you have to do this as precise as possible because Google, Bing, and all the rest, they search these things online and then they put it into their search engine so that when people come and they type in uh, printing needs in the search bar, Hopefully you get recognized for that. So these are one of those steps that you really need to do. All your printing needs. So I'm going to keep this one simple. And then we're going to bring in that little icon, select site icon. The upload tab opens first. In case you wanted to bring something in manually at this moment, you will do it here. But we've already imported our media, so we don't need to do that. Select here then media library, and it will give access to all the media we already have. And this is our favicon, this one on the right. Once you have selected it, note that you have a number of things here on the right that tells you everything about this image. You have the name of the image, the date, the size, 60 kilobytes small, and also the size in terms of its resolution, which is 640 pixels by 640 pixels, which is good. Below this, you have the title, you have a caption if you need that. So if you have an image that you are displaying on your site and you want to add some caption at the bottom, little heading, you can add that. You can also bring in a description. One of the things that you need to do for good image management is provide alternative text, the alt text, and then also make sure that your title is descriptive of your image. I think you are familiar that sometimes you search for something. I sometimes walk in the garden, I see a strange plant, and then, you know, when I search for it, the first thing that Google gives me is images. And you work on that image, and if that image doesn't have a proper naming function. So for example, if I'm looking at a acacia tree or a eucalyptus tree, and the image on your site doesn't have in the alt text or in the title eucalyptus, there is no way that Google will ever offer your image to someone as an option to look at. 
So that's very important. You should have the word print and maybe professional print or something like that in all of these images so that when someone is searching for professional print company, it will pop up in Google results. Don't think it's going to. Tens of thousands of print shops out there. But it's important that you do this step and put in the alternative text. We're not going to do that in this case, but something you need to do when you bring in images all the time. But that is something that you need to go through here. This lecture lasted too long on images, but let's go ahead and select. And unfortunately, the lecture on images isn't done there. We'll get back to that in Design Essentials playlist. If your image is a one by one ratio, which is 640 by 640, you don't need to do anything here. And you again select crop image. Bloxy is going to create a duplicate of your image. So you will see later in your media library, there will be two of these. So it will be the original one plus this one that you've created for the favicon. Under site identity, you will see print co, all your printing needs, and then the image over here. And it even gives you that little bit of a display of how they think it will look at the top. Look here at the top. You see, already changed that. But we have to save. And every time within the theme customizer, the save is called publish, right? And then once you have done that, let's go to the front end and refresh the page. And look at that. No time that is updated. Very important step. Back to Bloxy and to exit the customizer, you click here on the close X in the top left corner, and that takes us back to WordPress. We're getting close to creating our first page, and for that, we're going to use the Brizzy Builder. We do that in the next chapter.